Hi guys, in today's video I'm sharing with you all a recipe for Mauritian Chicken Kali. If you guys have never had this before, trust me, you all are going to love it. So guys, I'm going to start this recipe by seasoning my potatoes with some salt and some turmeric powder or you can use yellow coloring if you wanted to. Give that a mix. Once it's been mixed in properly, you're just going to set this aside and put your oil to heat up in the meantime. When your oil is hot, add in your potato pieces. We're going to fry these until they're light brown in color. And you notice I'm frying it on a rapid fry we just want it to get a nice color on the outside because this still has to continue to cook okay so this is finished it has a nice light brown or golden color i'm just gonna take it out i'm gonna place it into a bowl and set it aside okay so we're gonna start by seasoning our chicken pieces with salt ginger and garlic cumin powder and this is not jeera this is actually jeera seeds so those cumin seeds that have not been roasted as yet some turmeric powder black pepper I'm gonna give this a mix So the same hot oil that you fried the potatoes in we're going to start frying our chicken pieces and we're looking we're not looking to fully cook the chicken but just to sear it on the outside and for it to get a little color okay once the chicken starts to get a, a, a light brown color take it out place it on your paper towel and continue to fry the rest of pieces Okay guys, now we have to make a paste to actually season the chicken. So I'm going in with some fresh mint leaves. I'm going in with some scallions. Half of an onion and you can chop it up smaller if your blender cannot process that. I'm also going in with two tomatoes chopped. In goes some coriander and the coriander is necessary for this recipe guys. It's also called cilantro, not culantro because we call bandania culantro and if you didn't have it well I would suggest maybe trying to use the bandania but your, the taste is going to be different and I'm also going in with two chilies and I'm going to blend this so basically just blend it until you have a paste like consistency try not add any water but if you do need a little bit of water to help you blend it add about a quarter of a cup or less okay guys I didn't add any water to make my paste and look at the consistency perfect so I'm just gonna add that in here and to this I'm going to go in with some cardamom you can use the seeds or you can use some blended I don't have the seeds so I'm just going to add in a pinch of this you don't want to put too much and I'm going in with a star anise in goes a cinnamon stick I'm gonna grate in some nutmeg just a little it's gonna add flavors that you're not accustomed to but trust me it's gonna taste really good and I'm gonna give this a mix just making sure I'm going along with the recipe that I was given so I'm just gonna add in a little bit of biryani powder if you guys didn't have biryani powder you can use some um, duck and goat curry powder if you like Wow, okay, I can smell the difference now after adding in a little bit of that powder. So guys, I'm going to add in some salt. You can always taste and adjust after. And I'm also going to go in with some low-fat yogurt. I want salt. I want some salt, please. Okay, give this a mix. Once it's mixed in, we're ready to cook. Okay, 
once you finish putting all of your seasonings in your chicken, you're going to empty this into a pot you want to cook it in. And I'm using this wide bottom pot because I really want it to cook evenly. Add in all of that sauce. In goes the potatoes that we fried. So just nestle that in between. Okay guys, I have my boiled and fried eggs. It's just hard boiled eggs that I fried after, very simple. Um, once you prepare all of the ingredients, the dish, dish is gonna come together really easily. I'm gonna nestle the eggs in between the chicken. And now I'm gonna top it with the fried onion. Guys, this is just a quick peep of me just frying up some sliced onions in hot oil just until it's very crispy that's all you have to do just cut it up and fry it until crispy and brown and of course on a medium high heat okay so my pot is on my stove it's on a medium heat the chicken that i'm using is from costco and i find their chicken cooks really quickly so if you're using a chicken that takes longer to cook you would may want to cover this but i'm going to actually leave this open because i have a lot of liquid in there from that paste that we made that's going to help me cook this i'm not going to turn it yet once it starts cooking and bubbling away then i'll go in and turn it and then we'll mix all of the onions and stuff together with that so just leave this to come up to a simmer and then we'll start mixing in everything OMG guys, this smells so amazing now that it's starting to cook and all of those flavors are coming together. So it's been 8 minutes, I'm going to go in and mix that mixing because we want to start to incorporate the onions into the dish and you also want to make sure it's not sticking. So mine's just sticking slightly so I'm just going to drop my heat to a medium low. Okay, once you've mixed in everything, go ahead and cover it and allow it to take its time and cook. You'll notice there's not a lot of liquid in my pot, but if there's a lot in your pot, you may want to cook this uncovered. So I'm gonna leave it to cook there for about eight minutes and then we'll check on it. Okay, let's go check on this. See if the potatoes are done. Oh, perfect. Nice. Okay, so the potatoes are finished. I'm going to taste this and I'm going to adjust my salt at this time. Let me give it a taste. Mmm, wow. Guys, you all are going to definitely enjoy this. So, it has enough salt. What I need to do is take it off now because this is finished. You can serve this. I think this will go great with either bus up shot, salad roti, or rice. And that's it. That's as easy as it is to make this Mauritian chicken. And it's very flavorful and very tasty. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe. Thank you to the person for sending this in. Um, it was sent to me through Instagram. So if any of you around the world are watching my channel and you want to share a recipe that's very popular in your country with me, feel free to. I would love to recreate it and try it. So thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!